Um, I think we're going to make Theodore's place. We're going to put it on a platform a little bit. Not too high, maybe like two blocks tall. That should be good. I'm going to have to go buy a wheelbarrow, but I need a little bit more moolah first. So we'll get that probably either tomorrow or the next day. I really want to get the platform built and the museum deed down. And then we can start the building on that and then start decorating around. We don't have too many things to decorate with yet, so we're not going to go crazy. Um, I know I'm going to want to add a couple like waterfall fountains maybe around. We'll have to see. I'm gonna grab all these grass seeds because there's a lot of dirt around that needs to be covered up. All right, so we're gonna put grass down because I don't like seeing dirt tufts underneath buildings. Um, I think John's place has a couple, uh, maybe Fletch's tent, but eventually she'll get something else and we can just move buildings later on and you know, make it look a little bit nicer. Getting grass seed is very tedious. It takes forever, but we'll get there. Sometimes I just go cut grass for like an hour and it's wonderful. You get so many seeds. So we'll just finish up here for a little bit. Got to add some more trees around that pond over there. Cool. It's a perfect place for the museum. I wanted to put Theodore away a little bit. Um, I usually keep all the houses close together, but I figured for this one, I'm gonna separate them a little bit. So we have John's shop close to our house and Fletch's tent, um, but everybody else, I'm kind of gonna spread them out a little bit. We're also, I'm hoping to get the wishing well um, in this episode. So we'll see how good that turns out. Look at our little garden. Our beets are ready and look, we're gonna get more watermelons on the vines. I think you can get up to four, four watermelons per plant, but sometimes you might get one, you might get two, you might get three, not all at the same time. I, I, I haven't grown watermelon, but it's good. All right, let's add some stairs here. I think I'm just gonna do, we'll do right in the middle, right where the door pops up. That'll be good and then, um, I think I'm gonna add a border around and then we'll finish that off with like the stone, the stone slabs, like the ones that look more brickish, I guess you could say. So we'll get working on that. Oh, broke my shovel. Now we'll gather the stone here because I don't have a lot, so. We're gonna get some of those and then we'll be able to keep decorating. There's a lot of stone around. I just haven't collected it yet. <laughs> brick path, that's what it's called, not the stone path. It's the brick path. Perfect, that should be enough. So we'll plop that around just like this and then it'll be so wonderful. I think since we have the big like pond across from there, we're gonna put trees all around it, but I also think I'm going to add two fountains to each side of the museum. So I think that'll look super cute. We are gonna have to go get pearls though, because we need those for the water beds. But we'll do that a little bit later. Gonna finish up here. We're not, like I said, we're not doing anything crazy because we don't have too many like different types of tiles and stuff like that. Look at my watermelons. They're growing. So nice, so nice. All right, we got the deep mine. So that's kind of exciting. And then we'll, like I said, we're also going to get the, the wish fountain. So we'll get the wish fountain first because I'm definitely not going into the mines without it being on peaceful because it's just crazy down there, especially the second level. But uh, so yeah, I use the first level of the mines to basically get all of my ores and whatever I need. And then the second level in the mines is where I get most of my decorations. I don't really go for ores down there because there's just, there's too many rooms to see. 
you run out of space so quickly because you get blueprints on the second level um, and then a whole bunch of other stuff. So let's place down this wish fountain. Perfect. And then now we gotta go get our pearls. So I always mark my pearls that I find with stars so then they're easy to find whenever I have to go out and get them. I don't remember how often they respawn. I think it might be every like three to five in-game days. I don't remember, but oh well. And since it's summer, we have the Marlins out. So I try to always catch a few of these because they're worth a lot of money. But they're very hard to catch. Sometimes I'll have like my husband come on with me just so he can drive the boat around. Because then it's much easier if you get barracudas or these marlins or even the tuna fish. Like the bigger fish like that. Um, you always have to go back and forth. But if I have my husband on with me, he can just drive the boat and I can drive right to them. And then it's pretty easy. Alright. Peaceful wish. So no hunters will visit your island. So I think that's like... Ted Sully won't come, which I think he's a hunter. Um, I don't think it affects Santa Claus in like December and stuff like that, but we'll see. Also, I made this little area for the mines. Just a little start, little box here, three by three square. Well, I guess it's a four by four and then the three by three is where the mine will go. So that's exciting. And then we'll obviously decorate around here eventually. Like I said, I'm just doing like little updates here and there because lack of decorations right now all right oh i forgot to sell my marlin yesterday i got four of them which is exciting holy crap Eighty thousand dinkaroos that's pretty good all right let's get started here on the first fountain so we're just gonna design something basic up in the middle down on all sides and then we'll go from there and then we'll match it all the way on the other side Perfecto. It's gonna look so cute. We got some grass, but as you can see, it takes a little while. I didn't go grass seed, you know, hunting yet. It's not really hunting. Gathering, I suppose, is the better term for it. But it's all good. We finally got our wheelbarrow. We were able to afford that with selling the Merlins. Are they the Merlins? They're Marlins. What am I even talking about? I can't speak anymore. I have baby brain. Alright, so we'll just plop some more dirt down here. And add the little fountains in. The little water beds. Look how cute that is. It's just a little simple design. So we'll match that on the other side. And it'll be wonderful. Just like that. Look how cute that is. Who are you? Max, fishing guy. G'day. Hello. My name's Max, me name's Max. I'm Theodore's little brother. Oh! Speaking of Theodore, he mentioned that the Barracuda are migrating around this time of year. This means that today is one of the only days you'll find them out during the whole day. As soon as he mentioned that, I booked me ticket. These conditions are perfect for a fishing competition, so I'm hosting one today. Cool. For serious... Alright, let's buy this fishing rod here, because why the heck not? And we're off to the fishing competition. Alright, here we go. It's started. Let's see how many barracudas I can get. I'll probably get, like, four or five. I don't know. Sometimes they're hard to find, so you really have to kind of just go around and, see, you know, find them in the little bushes here and... It's always a fun time. Come on. See what I mean? Like it takes it takes forever to reel them in. So if you can get a friend or somebody to come on with you and just drive the boat, you can do that. And so it's more fair. Either one of you can fish or you can switch off and just split the fish in the end. I don't know. That way it makes it fair for everybody. But my husband doesn't really play this game. He only comes on to help me sometimes. There's so much ocean. Uh, no, I don't want that one. I'm not catching any other fish but the barracudas. That's what the competition asks for. That's what the competition judge is going to get. 
I'm not going too far. Like, you can go around in little circles around. I know the map's not too big. Like, it is, but it isn't. You obviously can't um, go around the whole ocean. I still have to make it to the... Um, is it the spring update that had the other island? <laughs> or was it the autumn one? No, it was the spring one. I haven't gone to that island yet. I really have been slacking. Oh, there's like a couple barracudas over here. Oh, hello, shark. All right. The hunt is on. It's good. I haven't had too many other fish bite when they're around, so that's pretty good. We're going to stay close to home because we have to be back by four. I think this will probably be the last one we get. I don't really see any more around. All right, let's go log our score. And then we'll just kind of run around. We'll run around our little section of the island to see if we can get like any last minute ones. But probably not. I haven't seen too many close to the shores. You have to go out a little bit sometimes. But that's okay. So we have 10. Hopefully that'll be enough. Because I don't think I'm going to find any other barracudas around here. Which is alright. Hopefully I win. I think I've only won the bug competition once. Um... I placed every time, obviously, but I think I only won it once, so who knows? Usually John wins, so does he do the fishing competition? Are they different people that do the different competitions? I don't really know. I guess we're going to find out. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any more barracudas around, so we're just going to end with our 10 and, and hope that it's enough. All right, let's go see who won. I hope it's me. Look at John over there. Okay. Um, yeah, I think it'd be smart to sell the fish to him, right? Yeah. Probably get more money for them. So how much is 10 barracudas worth to you, Max? Please be good. Like, at least 100 grand. That'd be great. Holy crap! 300 dinks! 300,000 dinks! Oh, so good, so good. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Alright, let's see who won. Fishing competition is now closed. Congrats to the winners. Oh my god, I won! Woo! John wasn't too far behind, but that's okay. Awesome! So now tomorrow we'll get our little trophy. And that'll be good. I'm gonna plant more bananas, which are gonna take 16 more years to grow. Everything takes so long to grow, but that's okay. We got started on our brews. We have three Billy Can kits. We don't have any kegs yet, but those will come eventually. So I'm saving all my teas to double brew those with the kegs. Oh, look, John's over there. He's like, he's watching me, but he's also enjoying the fountain. Maybe he'll make some wishes for himself. You can only have one wish at a time. So peaceful is going to remain on peaceful for the foreseeable future. Once I'm stacked with, you know, all them cash dollars, we'll cycle, th we'll cycle through the other wishes you can get and just see what they're all about. But for now, safety first. I have one weapon, and I don't use it very often right now. So, there you go. All of our bushes have grown, which is awesome. We just harvested the trees the other day and finished planting the quandongs. Which is good. Hey, I can just like hide in these bushes. And, well, you get quite a bit from them. Let's see how many of the bottle brush we get. So we got about 53 of those. And then we also got 54. So we should have got 54 on the other one. 53 and 54. That doesn't seem right. There's got to be one missing somewhere, but that's okay. Look, I got my trophy. Look how pretty it is. Gorgeous. All right, so we've been down to the mines already, and we found a couple of rubies. So now we're going to go down to the second level and get all the goodies. Oh my gosh, there's a room literally right here. 
let's see what we can get out of it. We'll grab some of, I'm just gonna move this one, but I don't really focus on these too much. All right, let's eat our banana jam. And then we'll get cruising. We're gonna kind of go everywhere. We're gonna grab all the flowers we can. We're gonna look for marble tiles. We're going to, um, we'll grab some of the, the floors from these buildings, but only if we have time. Cause I wanna get vines. I wanna get, uh, what else do I wanna get? Um, ooh, yeah, these little lantern thingies. A little lamp posts. We'll get some of the, pretty much all of those. All right, let's see what's in our first chest. All right, there's no blueprints in here, but we got a, a rock wand, some paint, more keys, and a statue. And you'll really start to see how quickly your inventory fills up down here. That's why I don't even bother with any of the ores, because the first level, you get all your ores. So we're really looking for flowers, because you know I'm gonna make a nursery. You get all the flowers and the lily pads and all that fun stuff. All right. It's always a maze down here. You never know where to go, but I just kind of go everywhere. And then we get home eventually. Oh, but look how nice peaceful is. We don't even have the blooming frillies chasing us anymore. That's so good. They were the worst. The bats, those guys, and the grub dudes. All the worst. Oh, I can't fit through there. Haha, <laughs> silly me. Perfect. All right, our second room here. We got the grubs in here, but look, they're not even getting us. <laughs> um, it isn't to say that we can't get injured though, because the blooming frillies, I think they attack like the grubs and stuff. So if you get in the way, they will get you and you will take damage. Uh, oh, I didn't bring anything for health. I only have stamina stuff. Oh, well that's okay. No worries, no worries. All right, oh, there is. Oh nice, there's like emerald shards in here. Cool, we'll grab this, go drop it off in the elevator, and then keep on our little journey. It's just so nice in here. I'm excited to see what the third level is gonna be. Hopefully with the winter update, we'll get something along the lines of a third mine level. I don't know what's gonna be different in there. Maybe some different um, flowers, I assume. Gonna get all the mushrooms that we can. Just to add some light up to our island. That'll be wonderful. I put lamp posts and stuff, but uh, they're not always the cutest. So I'm gonna get some tree seeds figure out everything. So right now I'm just running around until I can and then more towards the end when it's almost time to leave the mines we will um, we'll gather all kinds of vines and all that cool stuff to help us with our decorating later on. It's gonna be so much fun. Oh we found another room. Perfect. Anything in here? Anybody in here? Hello? This one's empty. Ooh, we got our first blueprint. So exciting. I need all the blueprints. Ooh, there's yucky grubs in here. Yucky. All right, nothing too exciting. Oh, we got some blue paint. Uh, ooh, an iron ax. Can I use that? Even though I don't have like the higher license for it? Probably, right? You just, you don't, I don't have the recipe for it, so I can't make it, but I think I can still use it, which will be good. All right. Okay. What's in this chest? Ah! He almost got me. Rude! Ooh, is that purple paint? Pink paint? We got a Diggo statue, Perconium, some paint. I'm not going to get the bombs right now because. See how quickly my inventory filled up? Ridiculous. We'll have to get some more slots in there, but we need to really get our permit points going. I never really know what order to get everything in, so I just kinda go with the flow. What I need at the time is what I'll get. Okay, excuse me, you're in my way. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. All right, so let's grab these lamp posts. 
the little mini ones. And then we'll go on our little merry way there. Okay. Uh, can I jump through here? Ow! See? <laughs> See, you can still take damage. I didn't attack him, so he's not coming after me. But if they're already in battle with any of the other mobs or, that exist, um, and you get in the way, you will take damage. I'm so poisoned! Go away! Go away, poison! Oh my goodness, there's just rooms everywhere down here. They're a lot easier to find down here than they are in just the deep mine itself. Okay, so there's more emerald shards in there. So we'll grab this room first, and then we'll grab the emerald. Bring that back to the elevator. And um, then we'll gather up all our fun stuff. But this is going to be the last little bit for this episode. We got so much done. We won the fishing competition, so that's really exciting. And there's a whole lot more to come. Once I keep unlocking blueprints and getting more decorations, like these wonderful tiles, it'll be perfect. Thanks for stopping in today. Have a great day. Bye!